Hello guy, there are a lot of people over the world have an issue when trying to remove Sochi, Sochi on uh, Windows PC. Uh, basically, they can remove it, but it did not remove the complete list on the window. So, uh, when we are saying remove any software on the PC, it will be, it will be very easier. We can use the add or remove feature of the window, but for Sochi, it is not easy. So in this video today, I will show you how to do it. Okay. As firstly, I will talk about the normal way all of the people do when trying to remove any software uh, uh, on the Windows PC. Okay. So here you can see I have a uh, uh, Sochi already installed on my PC, and we have a Sochi icon on the desktop. I go to the control panel and trying to find the Sochi. Okay, here. So before we try to remove it, I will close the Sochi app. Okay, then go ahead to click on in uninstall button here. So after that, it will help me to is uninstall the Sochi software on my PC. Okay, it has been removed, it. and the icon on the desktop has been deleted. Okay, cool. So now I will open the browser and try to download the Sochi software again. Okay, so here after download, I will click on it and install it again. Here, so here I'm trying to install it. After install it, I have a new icon, Sochi, has been created on the desktop. And you can see here, indeed, uh, enter some the step for configuration. It will open the Sochi app in the list here. So here, it seems all of, all of the configuration for previous software installed on my PC still keeping here. Uh, it seems the, the way we do it is not, I think it is not good. And all of the configuration is not removed completely. Okay. The next step, I will show you the best way we should do to remove the Sochi completely on the Windows PC. Okay. So now, let us start it. And you can see here, I have a Sochi on my PC opening, and I will close it here. So now I will go to Control Panel again and uninstall a program. I will find the Sochi here, and select the uninstall button. It will help me to uninstall it again, as we did in the previous step. Okay, refresh it. And you can see here the Sochi software has been disappeared. And we don't have the icon on the desktop as well. Okay, I will do another step. I open the my computer and go to the user admin user here. So the app data e folder is hidden. If you still not display the hidden folder here, you have to follow this one to display it. Okay, go to local. And I have a Alassian folder, which contains all of the installation of and configuration of the Sochi. You go ahead to delete own. Okay. So close this one. And after that, I will open again the browser and try to install it, the, the, the Sochi again. Okay, click on it to try to install a new instance of the Sochi on the Windows PC here. A new icon has been created on the desktop. Okay. So here, it will open the setting up here. The firstly is this one is registration. It looks different with the step we used in the previously. Here, I will select the uh, registration account. Okay. So it will open a browser and you have to accept and enter the Alassian account. I'm assuming you already have an account and in case you don't have the account or existing, you have to create new one. Here you have to the confirmation step to grant the permission for the GitHub uh, Git account. Uh, I mean the Git account to accept the strategy. Okay. So here the registration is complete and I will have everything by default here. Just click on next button. 
this one is preferring you have to set up the global auto information it will be using for the other user profile when you are trying to commit the code to repository okay here this one you go ahead to add the edit 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 key into the short key click on it and go to the edit edit folder user and admin and edit it you select the private key for the account uh, next, this step you have to enter path phrase for the for the git edit it and if you don't enter the path phrase for the account so this, this step will be skipped here so go to, go to tone and option you can see the configuration information for the user user information and the edit edit client configuration had been uh, set in the previous way okay so i think this this is for this is enough for today and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later